السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين Can, can you please, uh, uh, Shaquille, put the uh, diagram, uh, okay, for people to see. Again, uh, as, as a reminder uh, that the central uh, theme uh, of the surah is how to um, uh, establish an egalitarian society, a, a new society with a new set of values, with a message, a, 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 a society with a message, okay? And we have seen that from the, uh, uh, the, the, based on the understanding of the central theme that the, the, uh, 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 this s society is founded on the brotherhood and sisterhood of this really uh, a new uh, society. And uh, we are trying to understand uh, uh, through the, uh, sir, uh, the, the other themes uh, uh, how they basically rotate around the central theme uh, at, at trying to understand really uh, what governs the relationship between the people and, and the leader uh, uh, what is the relationship between the members of the society? What is really the prerequisites for anybody who would like to join that society to uh, uh, contribute to the strength of that society and not really like to uh, um, separate among its, its members or uh, change really its uh, uh, values, high values, or uh, uh, change really its message, okay? And uh, 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 last uh, week we saw uh, uh, the, uh, in the beginning our, our verses from uh, two to five, okay, an, an illustration of how should be the relationship between the, uh, the, 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 the people and their leadership, or how the leader should be viewed, how should uh, the leader be uh, respected and honored in order to, to do his or her job, okay? Not because he is like uh, somebody different uh, from let alone if, if the leader uh, uh, happened to be at the same time a, a prophet, a messenger, a prophet at the at the at, uh, uh, top of the of the project of a prophecy. Okay, so uh, 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 and and you can see in the surah and the through Quran. Okay, um, uh, other instances where. The, uh, uh, the, the believers were trained how to uh, act with, with, with the prophet, how to deal with him, okay? Uh, and, and the bottom line, don't deal with him as if you are like talking to, to, to your, uh, I mean, like uh, 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 friend or, uh, or to, to your neighbor, uh, um, uh, screaming, I mean, like, uh, 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 so even your, your uh, natural, if you like, habits, okay, uh, can be overcome, okay, or need to be overcome in order really like for that uh, 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 community to uh, 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 achieve its purpose, okay, with allowing the, the, the leader to be capable of managing your affairs uh, in the most equipped, equi equi uh, uh, the most balanced, really, way, okay, and, and so 
uh, uh, as what I was saying, through Quran, you see, okay, how you you uh, speak if you want uh, privately to the Prophet. Uh, uh, how if you want really like to call on him. لا تجعلوا دعاء الرسول بينكم كدعاء بعضكم لبعض كدعاء بعضكم بعضا. لا ترفعوا أصواتكم فوق صوت رسول الله ولا تجهروا له بالقول. Okay, if you want really like to, uh, uh, if you want to visit him uh, at his uh, 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 house or hujurat in his uh, private apartments, you have to follow certain etiquettes. If you want to, if you are invited to eat at his at his home, how should you really you behave? Okay, uh, um, uh, uh, you need really to respect the privacy of the prophet. And the privacy of his household. You see, all all this, okay. If when the, you put them together, you can see that the the the, the new uh, 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 or whoever is joining this community is being trained really like to adhere to to the highest really ethical conduct. And those who cannot really like afford this, okay. We have seen instances where people left because they couldn't really like they, they they couldn't really over overcome okay or they are not able to adjust to 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 the new uh, set really of uh, of values okay and and to the new culture and every culture starts okay with the habits that people acquire okay. Uh, and and we have seen in uh, even in our days how difficult it is to create a new culture. I gave you the example before of like um, in the hospital how how long it took for us an in infection control like to to uh, instill in the people like or to create a new culture based on a new habits like a simple habit of washing our hands before and after really we go into a patient's room so the, uh, one may say okay what what is really a big deal about it it is really a big deal because you are asking the people to ditch really uh, 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 older habits and acquire new ones okay here you are asking Today, okay, uh, see how difficult it is for people to adhere to masking, to keeping distance. Uh, I mean, like to 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 uh, minimize the chances for a transmission of uh, of COVID nineteen. And you, we have seen all over the world, even in the most advanced countries. Okay, we have seen how difficult really it is for people to see that as I mean, and and really come above their uh, 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 routine, if you like, and, and uh, 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 put away uh, 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 politics and, and put uh, uh, the welfare of the people, okay, as your really main, main objective. And again, you can see, okay, one may say, why, I mean, what, what is really, why Quran is really talking about these things? No, no, it, it, because things as small as this will be as big as like an, an issue that will affect the security, for example, of the, they, I mean, you, you cannot say, yes, I mean, they are not the same, but if you mm -hmm. are not trained like to, to do the little things, okay, uh, are you really expected really like to, to really like adhere uh, uh, to to uh, uh, um, more like or a bigger really uh, issues or or uh, practices that will really uh, that uh, protect the, the the society and uh, 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 main, uh, maintains its its balance and its welfare definitely is not going to happen. So these little things and this is how I you remember when we said. Like when you look at this universe, because always the universe is a is is a is a model before our own eyes. The, the you you see this big mountain, okay, and you see the small pebble, 
each one of them. Don't say, oh, this pebble is really very small compared to the, to the mountain. But each one has its own place in this universe. And this is how you can understand إن الله لا يستحي أن يضرب مثلا ما بعوضة فما فوقها. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is not shameful like to bring an example of a mosquito or, or something even less than that. Because each, you have to view the world as a unified existence. And you are part of that existence. And don't, and, uh, uh, and, and our social life or our social life should reflect this huge existence around us as a model and imam ali radiyallahu an oh i mean was uh, uh, like very conscious about this and i think this saying is ascribed to him and i i have no doubt that he said something he said it or said something very similar to it because other other sayings support the, the, that he said وتحسب أنك جرم صغير وفيك انطوى العالم الأكبر you think about I mean what is uh, can you compare yourself in terms of your size okay to to the mountains to the heavens and earth to the rivers the, we are little compared to them but Imam Ali is saying don't underestimate yourself from your size look at your position and, and this, the whole world has been encompassed inside you. In other words, you become a representative of the whole existence. The whole universe become represented in you. So don't say, okay, I am little compared to this universe. It has nothing to do. It's, each one is playing his, her, its role, okay? And your job is to do your job well. You see, I mean, that's, that's, uh, uh, and again, starting with the little things, okay? Or without ignoring these little things, the society will progress. Imagine, I mean, every and, and we will see it uh, later on in the surah <laughs> that if Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam listens to everything uh, people come uh, and, and tell him and follow through with what they suggest or what they, uh, 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 what information they bring to him and it will, he, he would have created a lot of inconveniences, a lot of, of, uh, of hardship to the society. So Muhammad Sallallahu will be the, the first like to, to stop these things. This is what the, the term that Quran uses, Al-Anat. Uh, Al-Anat, uh, it means A'natakum, means like uh, 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 cause you hardship, difficulty, uh, uh, inconvenience, embarrassment, okay? All these meanings are really embedded in this Quranic term, if you like, al-anat. And if you like, uh, the, 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 the verse before the last in Surah At-Tawbah, Surah At-Tawbah number, number 9, لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِ مَا عَنِتُمْ It will bring him a lot of, of, of anxiety and, and sadness to see you in any setting of difficulty or in any setting of inconvenience. The, 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 go to the last, to the end. لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ 
رسول من أنفسكم yeah. جا... the, the one before the last number 128 so there has come to you a messenger one of your own who feels your burden he is concerned he is keen about your welfare حريص عليكم بالمؤمنين رؤوف رحيم he is compassionate and merciful to the believers around him you, you can you see the i mean that i i would say it summarizes okay the um, how the prophet feels about the, his the believers around him okay and how the believers okay need to view the prophet and how to deal with him and and you will see it also wa'lamu anna fikum rasulullah they know that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is among them but is quran is reminding them okay remember as if quran say remember who is this person among you is not an ordinary person he is the leader and happened to be also the messenger wa'lamu anna fikum rasulullah don't expect from him like to to go your way in every matter that you bring to him. So again, the, uh, the how to respect and to honor the leadership becomes important. And that requires really for the people to start changing their behavior. You are not anymore dealing, I mean, with, with an ordinary person beside you, okay? Otherwise, that person will not be able like to discharge his responsibility as, as a leader. Today, we will go to, to the uh, symmetrical uh, uh, part, uh, uh, I mean, the, the part of the sword that is symmetrical to this from uh, verses 14 to 17, like towards the end of the surah where we see another important example or illustration of what, uh, how should really the people who are joining this society, this newly born society with the new sets of values, with a message that they should really, because this is, this is a society based on a very important message. The message of truth manifesting itself in saying the truth all the time, Sadiq, consistency. Uh, uh, um, in Arabic, we call it Thabat, uh, integrity, uh, 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 and equality or equity if you like okay or justice these are the manifestations of the truth the truth that on which heaven and earth this whole universe has been founded on the truth and if you are a representative of that universe as individuals and as members of a society then you have really to adhere to, to this message, to advance that message. Anything that will divert the society from its main uh, message, okay, should be refused and, and rejected. And so there were people, especially from these Bedouins or belonging to certain tribes, coming to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and uh, 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 claiming that they, they believe, okay, in the message, and they become part of the new society, and so by doing this, they will be entitled to certain favors. So again, they are, they are coming with the objective of of their own interest 
or they are really coming with the with this package of prejudice, however it is uh, racial or tribal, oh, we belong to, to this. We are the people from this uh, tribe and we are coming here to claim and declare our, our faith and our belief in the, in, in the message of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Therefore, okay, we have become entitled to all the favors, okay? So, so we need our, uh, also a, like a payback, okay, for this. And so immediately Quran would, will, will tell the Prophet to tell these people, قَالَتِ الْأَعْرَابُ آمَنَّا قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا وَلَكِنْ قُولُوا أَسْلَمْنَا You are at the stage, okay, you came to the Prophet accepting the new message. Okay, accepting the new message is only the first step. But in order to get into the level of Iman, true belief, you have to show it. It's not only by a verbal declaration. So this is a good setting to uh, uh, to teach us in fact this is a teachable moment to learn about what is the difference between islam and iman and again here you can see that islam is just really the first step of accepting this message but even when Quran talks about the concept of Islam, he will not say "Aslama wajahu lillah" and stop there. Wa huwa muhsinun. You have to be in that state of ihsan. Amilu salihat, if you like. Amanu wa amilu salihat. Your your good deeds will be the reflection of your belief. So Iman is engagement in one word, if you like. If Islam is acceptance, Iman is the engagement based on that acceptance. So you have to, if, to, to show that belief in action. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it will be like uh, your, your declaration is based only on, on hopes and false hopes. But that, <laughs> Imam Ali radiallahu an, when he talks about those who have these false hopes, he, sa he, he said, Kathibun wal -azim. This is a big lie. This is lying by God the great, the greatest. كَذِبٌ وَالْعَظِيمٌ فَمَا لَهُ لَا يَتَبَيَّنُ رَجَاؤُهُ فِي عَمَلِهِ How come that this person who is claiming this is not manifesting his hope by action? From where Imam Ali brought, came up with this? From where? Quran. Quran. Brother uh, Yusuf. Read for us the last verse of Surah Al-Kahf. Okay. <clears throat> surah, you, you know how to reach it very quickly. Yeah, what is the Surah number? Uh, 18, number 18. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Faman kana? Uh, I'm going there right now. Okay. Right. Take your time. Yarju me. Liqa'a. Yarju. You see, Raja. Hope. The very last one you said? The last one. Uh, is it? Qul inna ma nabasharum mithlukum yuha ilayya. Is that the ayah? Yes, فَمَنْ كَانَ Oh, okay. 
قل انما انا بشر مثلكم يوحى الي انما الهكم اله واحد فمن كان يرجو يس يرجو ومن كان يرجو يا يرجو يرجو لقاء يرجو لقاء فليعمل عملا ربه فليعمل عمل صالح يس يو سو ات يس اوكي رجاء should be manifest itself in good deed فما له لا يتبين رجاؤه في عمله how come that person is claiming that he 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 has big hopes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and meeting him how come that does not is not manifesting itself in in his or her good deeds فمن كان يرجو لقاء ربه فليعمل عملا صالحا ولا يشرك بعبادة ربه أحدا keep your goal one not so many goals not so many قبلة one قبلة الله don't join with him others you see your, your قبلة should be one الله سبحانه وتعالى Believe, be be frank with me yeah. okay what we have what has been the teaching and and at least in in our lifetime that you believe in allah and you do the good deeds and see the the, the, the order here falyamal amalan salihan wa la yushrik bi ibadati rabbihi ahada this society is based on good deeds that will manifest your belief in Allah. Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnas. You were the best ummah produced to humankind. Ukhrijat. You know, ikhraj, when you, you talk about like a movie, we, it needs a producer. Is that right? Production. You have been produced to the to humankind why Because based on what ta'muruna bil ma'ruf wa tanhawna 'anil munkar and then it says wa tu'minuna billah <coughs> if you that the, the, this goodness khaira this goodness which is a reflection of the goodness in this existence Hi, you see, brother, uh, uh, brother Noor was telling us about really enjoying the goodness in this existence. Is that right, Noor? Absolutely. Sitting <laughs> under the tree outside, yes. enjoying the yes. beautiful. Again, this uh, yes. this is the goodness of the yes. universe. Okay. Yeah. Should be should we should be become representative of that goodness in our own actions. In fact, uh, I was actually trying to uh, mimic or simulate, you know, mm-hmm. that ayah is, mm-hmm. So I'm trying to do that. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, may Allah give, give us this, grant yeah. us this, this uh, status. Okay, Inshallah. but again, Inshallah. because that would yeah. really like reflect our status here. Our state of ihsan here, okay. Hal jazaa al ihsani illa al ihsan. You remember from Surah Ar Rahman. Hal jazaa al ihsani illa al ihsan. If you are doing good, you will be treated well. You will receive every good things. But the, my, I am again. My emphasis here is really how to create the environment for yourself. Okay, and for others to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without seeing him physically. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. So, I was gonna, uh, yes, okay, go, go ahead. ahead. Go no, ahead. no, no, please. I was saying that, that, that if you, when you, when you read the Fatiha, El Fatiha first in Surah, it said, Surat al-Mustaqim, you know, you mm-hmm. straight path. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, 
and that no, most of the people who ever believe they go in there, they should be straight themselves. It's the honest. Yes. 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 To be fight with that one, you can be exactly. uh, involved in the the path. Exactly. And Quran most, uh, yeah. told yeah, us, "Inna Inna Rabbi ala siratin mustaqim." Allah is on the straight path. <laughs> yes, right. You... Only, only you can yeah. be. You be straight. Only you can go that straight path. I, it's exactly. And this is the way to get the closer to Allah, because you have to go through the straight path, the right path, to because Allah is on that path. He is telling us, "Inna Rabbi ala siratin mustaqim." You see how? I mean, it's it's. I mean, we are talking about a society that is saying the truth all the time because Allah always says the truth everything he says is the truth so people you, doesn't doesn't yeah, check I, themselves that they are straight or not straight uh-huh. you know they have the honesty Exactly. If you always be honest, you always mm-hmm. on the straight path. Uh-huh. And here comes really the, the idea of, of, of what is the meaning of Iman. That's the Iman that, you have to be straight. Yeah, exactly. And it really it becomes the true translation of your acceptance of that truth. This new society will not agree with somebody coming and putting their own prejudices above the high values above the truth and I, i'm telling I, you there were people who tried to to join who came by their own volition from far to because they heard about this new society but when they start really experiencing that they were basically stunned but they could not Okay, uh, af- like uh, afford for themselves. They said that I cannot live this life. Th- they they left. Literally, they left. You know this guy who basically was uh, of a big status in his in his uh, 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 community with power and and money and 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 wealth and everything, and he decided to join. And while he was really like uh, 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 rotating around Kaaba, like he uh, uh, basically tripped on, on, on someone who was really an ordinary person. And uh, uh, so his uh, um, um, uh, clothing fell, fell down, so he slapped that, that person. And that person really like... Um, uh, um, complained about him, I think to to Hadrat Omar, and Hadrat Omar said, "You slapped him; he should slap you." This is an egalitarian society that has doesn't believe. I mean, they will not put justice or we put your prejudices above justice. He said, "Give me w- one night to think about it," and that night he left. He left Medina. In other words, okay, these uh, Bedouins, okay, we said they need to start really uh, pruning their behavior, but also they need also to uh, 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 behave in a way that is compatible with the message of this, uh, of the new, new society. In this new society, there is no place for racial, ethnic, national, or tribal prejudices. They, yes, you, 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 your identity will be respected. Your identities will be respected, where you are from, and what, what, what is your background, and every, that will be highly protected and 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 uh, um, uh, honored and respected, but don't put any one of them above high values, especially justice. They really dissolve when it comes really to the high values. 
took those Bedouin left, but they came back and then now ruled the <laughs> yes. ruled the country, yes. now, right? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately. yes, Unfortunately, that and. Uh, again, I mean, putting all these things above justice, above high values, okay? And, uh, 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 and when we are really reading this, we take it uh, lightly, okay? What is really, see how, how Quran will introduce, and, but the beautiful part of it, the beautiful part, and it lies in a very small article, ولما this لما you see it قالت الأعراب آمنا قل لم تؤمنوا ولكن قولوا أسلمنا ولما يدخل الإيمان في قلوبكم there is this article لما and this another one that very close to it لم when you say Walid did not come in Arabic, we say, Lam Yati, Lam, Khalas. Lam Yati means he's, he's not even coming. He did not come and he is not coming later on. Okay? But if you say, Lam Yati, he has not come yet, but he is coming later, or maybe coming later. Did you see the difference? When you say in Arabic, lam, it means never. I mean, like, it, but Quran did not say that iman will not go into their hearts or enter their hearts. Quran said, It has not entered yet. Iman has not entered your hearts yet. But it opens the door for Iman to get in later on. It means you need to work on it. There are certain uh, uh, prerequisites. وَإِن تُطِيعُوا اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ لَا يَلِدْكُمْ مِنْ أَعْمَالِكُمْ شَيْئًا If you, are, you believe... Is, uh, yeah? it's, it's like uh, the mm -hmm. Surah Jumat when Allah says... Ah, bravo, bravo, mashallah, a very excellent example. Okay, so they, they have not, uh, uh, you have not seen these people yet, but they, you are going. <laughs> you see, uh, they have not joined yet, but they will, which means, what is your strategy to bring the message to these people? They will not come to you spontaneously, okay? You need to bring them the information. And the same thing here, okay? You, the, 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 the door for Iman is always open, but you need to do something about it. And the first step is to, to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his prophet. And the, as we said last time, man rasula faqad ata Allah. The obedience to Allah and as a prophet is the same because both of them are saying the same thing. Not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say something and Muhammad will say something else. No, no, no. Don't separate between Allah and his prophet. They are on the same side. Okay, on the same axis. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not take anything away from your deeds if you obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his prophet. Inna Allah ghafoorun raheem. Wow. And <laughs> you see how... Uh, 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 Mercy, forgiveness, and mercy are really the, is the environment for these people. You see, because Muhammad Sallallahu was asked to, they, I remember we said these Bedouins who live very deep in the, in, um, in the, in the desert without limits, okay, they become, uh, uh, because of, of this type of, of uh, uh, living circumstances, 
they become very rough. They are rough in, in their dealings. They are rough in, in, in their sayings and their, I mean, the, I mean, in their treatment of others. Okay, so how they are really going to become like uh, more tender and, and soft and, and kind by example. And the best example for them was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَبِمَا رَحْمَةٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ لِنْتَ لَهُمْ وَلَوْ كُنْتَ فَضًّا غَلِيذَ الْقَلْبِ لَمْ فَضُّوا مِنْ حَوْلِكَ If you were really rough and tough and have treated them with thick heart, they will go away from you. They will shy away from you. But if you want to bring them to the folds of the new society, you have to treat them with mercy and, and, and lean with, with softness and caring and kindness, okay? And then they will see in you an example. And Ibn Khaldun had a very beautiful um, in observation. He said, this type of people, they either need a prophet or a wali. <laughs> like some, somebody who is just below the prophet. <laughs> to lead them they, they 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 will they need that caliber to make them docile easy to lead otherwise they will not listen to anybody no matter how big they are but they have to be of very high caliber they need nabi awwali just to give you an uh, an idea what type of 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 people but again, if you are able like to uh, uh, bring such people and change their habits, everything else becomes really easy because this is the toughest type of people you may encounter in your life. But there is a way to get into their hearts by the example of kindness. Listen now to, to the criteria. You see, the belief in Allah and His Prophet is not really one-time event. It's a process. It's a journey where you are uh, struggling against any doubt this is that this can that helps us to understand uh, uh, this verse in surah an-nisa ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu aminu or you who believe believe <laughs> yes <laughs> you see because it is it is a journey yeah. okay always like uh, uh, revisiting it. Okay? Because, I mean, there are a lot of things happening around us that may sometimes make us question, okay, our own belief. And Quran is saying, you need to renew your belief by being engaged, by being engaged, engaged in a, the highest practical way. See how it manifests itself? وَجَاهَدُوا بِأَمْوَالِهِمْ وَأَنفُسِهِمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ They are ready to struggle all the time and sacrifice their efforts and time, okay? Or, or use their time and efforts and everything they have, their wealth, okay? It, then it becomes really a proof that they really believe in this message. And 
do you uh, think that this message uh, 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 succeeded as it succeeded with Muhammad وسلم, and the people and his companions without having these people who believed in that message around him? There is no way. To the point that the, the, their, their enemies were, were really surprised by, and they, they confessed that they said, we haven't seen anybody who, who loved their prophet or their leader the way we saw these people. And so you can have a project, any project. And if that, if the people believe in that project, they will rally behind you. They will put all their money, effort, time, okay, everything they have, okay, to make it a successful project. Look at these scientists. How, if, if, if that scientist does not believe believe in, in, in his or her project, why to stay uh, up nights thinking and working and collecting uh, data to, that support their project and their hypothesis? And so uh, th that is really the the meaning of iman and after that believe me islam and and iman become one they, they you will not be able to separate them you see it starts with the acceptance and then the, the acceptance is translated into iman and then iman and islam become really one that you cannot separate one from the other However, you say Muslim or Mu'min, it, it becomes really the same. You see, it's, a, it's, it's like, uh, like a curve that like they, they start and, and different and then they meet each other and they become one. But there is no escape of the translation into action. Amal, amal. We, I show it to you. There is nothing uh, 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 no uh, value that Quran talks about it that will, uh, will not really require an action to show it. However, you are talking about uh, shukr, sabr, raja, khawf, all these emotions, all these really values they require, <coughs> I'm sorry, they need an action to translate them. You see where comes the Sudaq saying the truth? It's like uh, as Imam Ali said, Kathibun wal Azim. Okay, if, if, you, if your action is not really manifesting your declaration, it's a lie. But if it is compatible, your actions are compatible with your declarations, then you are among those who say the truth then you are really reflecting the uh, uh, the 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 uh, uh, trustworthiness that you see in this universe does the universe lie does not lie if my data does not support my hypothesis I will say that my hypothesis is wrong. I will never say that the universe is wrong. The data does not really lie. 
I see a lab result on my patient and it is um, uh, like uh, confirmed. I will, I, I have to respect it and, and act according to that. Not like repeating it in, in, in order like to become right. It is not going to be like that. Let the data dictate your action. Be trustworthy like the universe. Numbers, the data do not lie. And Allah does not lie. وَمَنْ أَصْدَقُ مِنَ اللَّهِ حَدِيثًا وَمَنْ أَصْدَقُ مِنَ اللَّهِ قِيلًا قَوْلُهُ الْحَقِّ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهِ وَكُونُوا مَعَ الصَّادِقِينَ If you say the truth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will help you, will support you. Because you are following the truth. And the truth cannot be refuted by falsehood, by anything. Al-Haqqu la yubtiluhu shay, bal naqdifu bil-Haqqi ala al-Batili fayadmaghuhu fa'idha huwa zahiq. The falsehood can be defeated by the truth but not vice versa. You see, the falsehood can be defeated, refuted by the truth. But the truth, nothing will refute it. That's, that is really the, 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 uh, um, the strength of the newly born society. And its victory is based on following the truth, not because they won that battle or that battle. Because you can, you can win sometimes by following evil, by doing atrocities. But this is not victory. Back to Imam Ali radiallahu an. He said, الغالب بالشر مغلوب as if he's saying don't think that the one who who get his victory through evil is a true victorious no 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 he will be defeated sooner or later you cannot build on evil you cannot found on evil otherwise you will be against the universe the universe that is built and founded on what? On truth. خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ بِالْحَقِّ He created heaven and earth by the truth. It is based on the truth. It says the truth all the time. It is consistent. It has integrity. Have you seen the sun coming out from the west? or setting in the east, or the, the, the moon changing its, its really a, a, a journey and its stages. There is, I mean, otherwise you cannot follow. No, the truth. And if you want to build a community, small or big, should be on the base, it's a representative of this universe. Because you are the best representative of on this in this, this existence. You are the best to realize the beautiful names of Allah. He taught Adam his beautiful names and he challenged the angels that I know what you do not know.
this is what makes the human being different. And at the center of, of, of this, this existence. But that not to make him better than others, but to be responsible for others. Very important, my dear brothers and sisters. I mean, the, the, the idea of being responsible for even the smallest creature in this existence is really the reflection of the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your heart. You see, Allahu nuru samawati wal ard, mathalu nurihi. The nur of Allah, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the heart of the believer, okay, will manifest itself in this responsibility. You remember what uh, uh, Hadrat Umar used to say, radiyallahu an, that, that he, he feels the responsibility that he will be accountable for, for that camel because he did not pave the road for that camel can you imagine so what would be his responsibility towards his his people who elected him for that position so he has to be in service not only for humans, but for the whole environment, for the whole universe. Today, we can talk about global warming, for example. If he, the, the, actually, the whole main idea is that a human has to learn how to humanity. If you're not learning on that humanity, if yeah. you not learn, not living it, you're not even living your faith. Exactly. L listen, listen to Imam Ali. I mean, he, uh, uh, Hadrat Umar was talking about a camel. But listen how it really trickled down, okay, to the behavior and, and the vision of Imam Ali radiallahu anhu. He said, Wallahi law u'atitu al-aqaleem al-sab'a. If I was, if I were given Okay, the whole regions of the world as they knew it at that time. Al-Aqalim was Saba, the seven provinces or the seven areas in, in, in the world. And believe me, at one time Imam Ali was probably the president of the world. Almost. In his days, he it's uh, it, he was really in control of swathes of, of lands on, on, on this planet. والله لو أعطيت الأقاليم السبعة على أن أعصي الله في نملة. If I were given the, the, the whole world to govern and in exchange for that to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in an ant. Ant. See how small it is? He was, he said, if I were given all this and in exchange to disobey Allah in an ant, stealing from it the inside of a grain of wheat, ma fa'alt. Ala an a'asi allaha fi namlatin aslubuha lubba. Sha'ira, ma fa'alt. Wallahi, he said, I will not do it. Can you imagine? He is thinking about the ant. And how to provide it, its provisions. What about the humans? <laughs> you can imagine. He wouldn't really, he had the ability to have big wealth 
and to enjoy things. Not so he was not refusing them that because he don't want, or he's saying like this is not acceptable. No, no, no. He was his his reasoning was, how come I enjoy these things and there are people who do not have food to eat? How 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 can I do this? And there are people who cannot enjoy little things or have their basic needs. This is how these people were thinking. For Put everything aside. Put politics, religion, all these things on the side. If we talk to any person, regardless of his or her background, but that person is willing really to have a peaceful society. And there are a lot of people who want this. To live in a loving, peaceful society. Devoid of these unnecessary prejudices. Okay? Don't you think that they would love to see a, a leader like this? Don't call him Muslim. Don't call him Khalifa. Don't call him anything. Look at the actions. Tell me, you all are familiar with the story of Yusuf alayhi salam. Yusuf alayhi salam, okay, when the, 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 uh, the king, the king of, of that kingdom in Egypt, okay, learned about his integrity and he want him to be to to work with him what did yusuf tell that person put me in charge of the storehouses of the coffers of the silos whatever you like to call them because he knows or he was predicting that the okay. kingdom is going to face a very difficult time of hunger famine. famine and famine okay so he wants really like to exercise his knowledge and his integrity okay so that the the whole kingdom will pass this difficulty successfully okay do you see in that whole story, in the, this big construct that you see in Quran, Surah Yusuf, one whole surah about him, did you see anything he is putting a, a prerequisite to the king to, to follow him or to join his message or to believe in his message first? Did he put a condition he did not say anything. He said, I am facing, we are all facing a problem. I am capable of solving it. Just give me the chance to do it. He did not put any other. Today, the first thing, we start putting all these conditions on people. They have to become Muslims. They have to convert. They have to revert. They have to do this. They have to. What are you talking about? What I mean, I mean, this is a, a prophet of Allah, Yusuf alayhi salam, did not put any of these conditions. And he, he did not say, make me the leader and I will change everything for you. Doesn't work like this. Doesn't work like this. So the message is how to focus on how on the good deeds how to translate the high values we believe in that all emanate from the beautiful names of Allah into action and let the people see that and then they will make their decision they are free to make their own decisions. 
but your job, my job, is to translate these beliefs into actions. And if they, if we fail in doing that, I don't know if we can claim that we believe based on what the Quran is telling us. Those who are the people who are saying the truth. Look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling these people who came to the Prophet claiming that they are believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need from you this declaration. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only want from us to show that belief in action. He knows what is happening in the whole universe. Wallahu bi kulli shay'in ali. We don't have to tell him. Show it. They thought that if they come to you and declare that they are Muslims, that they are making you a favor, O Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yamunnoon alayk. An aslamu. Qul la tamunnu alayya islamakum. This is not a favor that you are giving me if you are be, you, you, you accepted and you em, embraced Islam. It is a favor from Allah who is the source of guidance to Iman. بَلِ اللَّهُ يَمُنُّ عَلَيْكُمْ أَنْ هَدَاكُمْ لِلْإِيمَانِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ See how, how many times Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put Siddiq as the condition, saying the truth. And so in other words, you walk the talk. If your walk is different from your talk, you are not saying the truth. No matter how nicely you put it, verbally. No, no, no. Actions speak louder than words. That's that's Action. that is really the bottom line. Right. You see, and 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 you can see that how what are really the prerequisites of really establishing a caring, loving, peaceful community. I mean, I told you last week the same thing. This value, humanity value, if you're not your second nature, yes. you won't go into your action. Mm -hmm. Exactly. People need to be put them into themselves. Your second mm -hmm. nature, it has yes. to come to your heart. Wow. Nothing, exactly. anything you're waiting against, you know, nothing, nothing. You don't want to wait anything from against anything. Yeah. It has to be naturally, second nature, yeah. you willingly yes. do it. Yeah, what, this is what I, I like to call it. It, it becomes uh, uh, your existential belief. You see what I mean? It's the, the truth becomes part of your existence. Goodness becomes part of your existence. What you are referring to as second nature, I am saying it is your existence. Your lifestyle, you're you're Your, into it, you're living in, it. Exa exactly. Inherent. Exactly. Inherent. 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 Exactly. It's it's really yeah. When you say this is my my uh, uh, like survival, like it becomes existential. It's um, you don't want to be to be threatened by anything. This is an existential danger. It will affect your mere existence. Is that right? Right. Uh, 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 take a global warming. Global warming is a danger that is really uh, uh, threatening our existence. It is an existential danger. Is that right? Right. Again, the, uh, the, uh, following the truth 
representing the truth of that you see in the universe in you should become part of your existence. It is an existential thing. Goodness becomes existential, like its existence in this universe. It exists in you. It's an, uh, again, th this is a very high objective, but it can be easily done. But it requires a lot of, of, uh, of uh, conceptual knowledge. We need to share this with the people. Wallahi, it, you will not be wronged at all. If, there is no if way you, if you are telling if you don't, the people yeah. go ahead if you don't think that this one people i understand the people is just a one time event not the one time event you, no, you have no. to put your struggle into your mind exactly you have to fight with him I mean, you, you, you have to put him in your into your heart and mind yes. nobody can change it and even you get that you cannot quit that thing Exactly. That's what most of the people doesn't uh, yes. and take it inside the series, the part yeah. of the, the solution, part of the, the peace or whatever and, in it. Yeah, and can, I, I really ash, can, ash, because I tried it. I tried it with people with different backgrounds. But when you say something of that, at that level, they have nothing to, to go against it. If you are telling the people, I would like to see goodness becomes an existential thing part of my existence the same way I see it in the universe Brother, uh, the, the, the universe is, is very good model because people see it with their own eyes it's a tangible thing they are experiencing every moment that's and, need, and this uh, is how this is how we need to understand why Quran brings all these images from the universe because if you because it is easy to see it now the big now i mean uh, uh, work is how to really translate it into your own existence how you become a representative of that universe don't underestimate yourself this whole universe can come all together and exist inside you. وَتَحْسَبُ أَنَّكَ جُرْمٌ صَغِيرٌ وَفِيكَ انْطَوَ الْعَالَمُ الْأَكْبَرِ Yes, Brother Yusuf. Yeah, you are mentioning, you mentioned so many times, which is, uh, I'm getting another lesson from uh, universe, truth, ihsan, uh, and we uh, were uh, talking about example of, you know, Brother Noor. Now, mm -hmm. ihsan, we are getting all these ahsans from the universe. So that means we are getting it consistently mm -hmm. and without any expectations. Those are the two things we should bring in our lives also. If we are doing some ahsan, it has to be the highest level yes. of ahsan and consistent. Uh, I mean, it has to be consistent and without yes. any expectations. There is and, uh, yes. I no, am. I mean, I, 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 uh, let me support what you are saying by uh, uh, how Quran put it. وَأَحْسَنْ كَمَا أَحْسَنَ اللَّهُ إِلَيْكَ <laughs> You see? Right. If, in order to feel that ihsan that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to you, okay, the, the way to appreciate it is really to do good with others, to make ihsan with others, to practice ihsan with others. وَأَحْسِنْ كَمَا أَحْسَنَ اللَّهُ إِلَيْكَ Absolutely. And there is another ayah, I don't remember exactly the whole ayah, but where Allah says, if you do ihsan, you can bring your enemies with your yes. friends. Yes. Uh, that, that is the highest level without yes. expectation. ادفع بالتي هي أحسن السيئة ادفع بالتي هي أحسن أحسن إحسان ادفع بالتي هي أحسن فإذا yeah. الذي بينك وبينه عداوة animosity yeah. that animosity can be transformed into friendship you, you see yeah. فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم very close friend. Yeah. 
is so in other words it's it's uh, don't let animosity hatred all these be, imprison us you see what i mean there is oh, and and believe me this energy what quran is saying this energy that you have been discharging and utilizing to achieve hatred and animosity this same energy you need to channel it in the other direction who loves best the one who hates best you may be surprised by that the more you hate injustice you will love justice <laughs> you see i mean you have to object first you have to reject first you have to hate first but not hate people you have to hate injustice you have to hate hunger to to work to eradicate mm-hmm. hunger appreciate to appreciate justice you yes you have to hate disease in order to bring health you see you the, the best who really loves the one who really hates best but know what you hate faman yakfur bi taghut wa yu'min billah you see falya'mal 'amalan salihan wa la yushrik bi'ibadati rabbih ahada you have to really avoid shirk first reject shirk as a disease reject kufr as a disease and we will see it inshallah i think we will not have the time but inshallah next time we we'll start talking about the internal relationships what are what may threaten the cohesiveness and the solidarity of this society there are things that come uh, uh, huge things like conflicts but they are they need also to pay attention to the little things little dealings among each other so that they will not reach that level of conflict this is what is happening today my dear brothers and sisters these conflicts that we see all over the world and who is suffering you and me the ordinary people common man common man the yeah. common people unfortunately but because we did not really focus on these little things these bigger things started threatening our existence our existence all this proliferation of weapons is it going really like to spread the justice and democracy in the world or is going to destroy the world all this race after the natural i mean like ihsan <laughs> all these bounties all these favors that should be really uh, equitably distributed among the people so that they can live peacefully and have good life now they have become they 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 threatening our existence wallahi sometimes you say i wish we live in 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 in, in, the, the, in a place that we did probably like at least in the islamic world that we even don't have oil instead of being a bounty it has become really a source of of sadness what 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 did, what what did we I mean, or like uh, we have like the the uh, 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 atomic bomb and and our people are still poor they don't have electricity they don't have uh, clean water 
what, what type of victory we are trying to achieve? We just learned that Jeff Bezos made $200 billion, first woman person to have that much wealth. But what is, there's nothing to celebrate about that. There's nothing to celebrate. It's just sadness to know yeah. this one person owns all this, but yeah. having all these problems around the world. Yeah. Shame on him. Actually. Exactly. I mean, like on the face of it, it looks like, okay, it's a, a, a but again, I mean, how did you reach that? <laughs> that wealth? Yeah. Imam Ali, radiallahu an, used to say, every time you see like a, 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 a ni'ma, it means that th- 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 there is something taken from the other people. Yeah. There is a right that has been violated. مقابل كل نعمة حق مهضوم. You see that he believe he can he can see the balance in the universe. We say the conservation of matter. Is that right? This there is a balance. Something goes up here, another thing goes down there, so that you will have all the time balance. Equilibrium. But when you dis- when you equilibrium. equilibrium, when you disturb that equilibrium, inshallah, we'll we'll uh, take break next week. And inshallah, we'll uh, reconvene in, in two weeks from. from inshallah. Today. Inshallah. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam.